Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems like it. Fantastic. All right, let's get back into space exploration, shall we? Where were we? We're trying to spam productivity six modules everywhere and reduce our count of machines so that UPS doesn't end up at 15 before we're done. Uh, we're also spamming some... Oh, we got a train picking this stuff up. Oh, wait, I think I forced that manually. Or was that down here? Uh, we're very close to having a train come to pick up the uh, Holmanite ingots at all of these stations. Uh, the rate of consumption is actually pretty slow here, so I think we might already have it saturated unless we want to double this. Um, but we'll see... Oh, these are tier 3. I want to put the tier 6s at least in the beacons. We've got way more... Uh... What the... Uh, we've got way more... Way more tier 6 speed and efficiency modules than productivity modules. Um, so I think I should probably use them. Uh, what is missing here? A single piece of... Oh, I forgot to change this to blue belt. That's fine. So we just haven't got any solenoids uh, in the train network, even though we've got the resources to build them yet. So what's our rate currently? We can only go a little bit faster, actually. At least for Holmium Cable. Uh, I guess we could reduce the number of machines. That wouldn't be the worst. And if we want to go faster than that, I'll just double the whole block. Alright, so let's put in some... Speed and efficiency. I'm going to keep cranking the speed until... Oh. Well, that's already too fast. Uh, it's not too fast for the output. If we do something about the input, we could have... Um, we could have this speed. Uh, how many plate are we getting here? Well, first, let's put... On this side, I definitely want to go for maximum uh, maximum speed, but with minimum power consumption. Probably. So we're still at negative 80% here. I think this is the one that changes it. Plus 20. Okay. I can maybe live with plus 20. 450 kilowatts per machine. Um, except it's going to be asymmetrical with that side. Let's go with this for now. Um, so we're looking at seven efficiencies. Hey everyone's good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, was it Revan? Sorry. Um, so how many? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, how many plate are we looking at if we do this? Two belts. Um, okay, that's actually kind of perfect. Just barely under two belts. Uh, 17 ingots per second. We might want to change how this out, uh, output works, but... It's less than half a belt. I think this will probably actually be fine. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. So we're getting two full belts of Holmium plate. Um, if we keep these beacons for everything, the ratios become... 
net positive cable, well, of course, uh, very slightly net negative Holmium plate. I think I can live with that. Like, net, we're making 89.76 per second, and our net rate, if both of these are consuming it at full speed, is negative 0.24. I think I'm okay with that. Um, so we're gonna need one belt... Oh. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit more severe than I was expect. Okay, we need fewer machines. We can't do more than 90 Holmium cable output here. Probably. And the input is a problem. So, how many machines would do 90? Let's see. Uh, nine? I would like to make it 10. That's 99 per second. How much cable does this use? 120 per second. That might be a problem. A Whiskers and a Roxo. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so we've got... Uh, we could make this two belts of cable without changing anything um, belt-wise, except adding a belt here. Uh, but we're using more than two belts of cable here already, so I think we'll drop the number of machines for this as well. Let's drop that down to 90. So that's 12 machines, half a belt of Holmium plate. So far, so good. Um, let's do this. And... 90 Holmium cable per second. Uh, definitely going to have to change the layout for this. A little bit. I think I would like to just have... Um, instead of this belt going here and this belt going here, we'll merge and split them. And we can easily change our priority from uh, Holmium Cable into the rail network to uh, solenoids if we have to. Though I don't think solenoids are nearly as much in demand. Okay. So if we limit this to two belts of output... Let's say 18... Uh, I'll do 10 machines because it's even and it gets us to 90. Uh, so that's one belt for Holmium cable, one belt for plastic. I think we can pull that off here pretty easily. Um, we're going to need to take this. Or actually, uh, what I was going to do is have this belt go to here, and then we have another belt squeeze through this way, or maybe on the other side. So I need to, um, I, I need to either merge these two, or use one belt and one belt, I don't think I can... One moment, please.
Okay, sorry about that. Wait, uh, let's continue, shall we? We need to... We need two belts of plastic and holmium plate. I think we'll go this way. Um, so it's one belt of plastic. Yeah, two belts of plastic. So I actually should have made this a 90 per second output. Uh, that's the wrong side. We need a upside down left one. Let's see. Left 90 per second. Uh, that would go here. We'll do our lane balance. Do we need a lane balancer? I don't think so. We're going to be taking from both sides equally. Um, okay. So, this goes here. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to squeeze this through. Hmm. This is kind of... This might be better. And it'll be more symmetrical. And... We could... Oh, that's actually a great fit. We can do it this way. And then that goes there. Um, this one will go here. And that goes there. Fantastic. Okay. Um... This looks fine. Oh, I forgot to put this belt here. Nice. And is that already on the same side? It is. Perfect. Alright, so we're getting... Uh, let's just double check this. Yeah, no, I used the blueprint. So 90 per second plastic out of here. Um, we're getting just under 90 per second Holmium plate. We need 10 machines, I believe it was, to spit out uh, two belts of Holmium cable. And we can actually easily keep up with the plate. That's fantastic. Alright, so uh, 5 and 5. Well, we need to split it down the middle. We've got 16 at the moment? I need... hmm... Well, I need 2.5 machines here, 2.5 machines here, and so on, with how I've set this up. So, I might have to change the belts a bit. I, I'll need a machine in the middle taking from both sides. Um... Which one do I want it to be? Does it matter? Probably not. I'm going to have to change the belts. Also, this is going to go this way now, I think. Um, okay, so which... Well, I should just remove a bunch of these and then go from there. One, two, three, four, five. And then... Belts are going to be a bit different. So this one's going to go here. And this one... Is going to go here. I might just... Make sure the inserters are not trying to take from a corner that's going past them. So one, two, three, four. Oops. And then... I think that's it. Is this reach? 
let's just do some more undergrounds here. I think it'll look a bit tidier. Uh, that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't work. What are we going to do? Uh, I think what we'll have to have is a belt like this. And a belt like this. That actually looks neater. I like that. Hey, Carenza. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you today? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Alright, so we'll put... Uh, I think I'll just split this one here, and that'll go directly to the second half of our... Um, the second half of our cable output. And we need one more belt of cable going this way. And then... That doesn't quite line up, unfortunate. It's fine. Um, where am I going to connect this? I think... Put a splitter. I would prefer if this could start here, but it's not gonna. It's probably not gonna work out that well. Okay. We'll just connect it as we can. I think we could probably actually... Why don't we just have this one go here instead? And then this goes here. Oh, that's not quite... Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, nice. Alright, let's get rid of the excess belt here, and are we done? Need to move this. Wait, what was this doing here? Oh, I remember I moved this whole thing over a tile a while ago, so it would fit under the beacon. Okay, I think that's it. What's our rate? So we're net positive 30 Holmium plate, even if even if everything's going at the same time. Uh, we get 30 Holmium solenoid out of this, and even if we're doing that at full speed, we get 9 Holmium cable per second. Um, well, actually, that's not quite how that works, because... Um, Because we're going to be outputting... Oh, this needs to go to both sides of the output belt as well. And we probably need more stack inserters. If we're going to... If we're going to get our full output from this. A hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, so how many inserters do we need to output this? If it's direct insertion, which it's not, we'd be looking at only 0.35 stack inserters. What's our rate for individual machines? 10 per second. We might be able to do it with one stack inserter per machine. I'm skeptical. Um, and we need to, uh, this is actually going to be tricky. 
We need to use uh, half a belt for each three of these. So I think this one will go back. And then I wanted to... Hmm, can I squeeze this in through here, actually? Yeah, that's... That should do it, right? That was more clean and compact than I expected it to be. Nice. So we can actually keep the splitters and stuff in exactly the same spot. Um, but yeah, we are going to bottleneck on 90 per second out here. So we're not actually going to get any Holmium cable if we're going full speed making the solenoids. Um, well, that would be if we prioritized output. I think we'll just keep it at 50-50. And just aesthetically, I feel like this is slightly better. And we'll put this here. What's the plan for today? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Just continuing. We've got a whole lot of productivity modules that we need to spam. Um, we're short on green circuits at the moment, but I think that was hopefully only... I can get rid of this now. Uh, hopefully it was only because... Um, I messed up the... Uh, I forget how I did it, but I messed up the shuttles for green circuits. So currently this is looking pretty good. Let's check on Nalvis. Uh, yeah, I think we're good for green circuits now. Unless we're consuming them so quickly that we're actually bottlenecking on the trains in orbit or something like that. Um, let's see. How fast... It's actually... We can't use a rate calculator for this because we ch keep changing the recipes. Um, what I can do is go to... We're doing... 0.7 times 4 per minute for each uh, type of speed module. I think they all... Each type of tier 6 module, I think they all use the same... Um, amount of green circuits. So 0 0.7, 0 0.14, 0 0.28 per minute. And how much does it tell us right here? No, it doesn't tell us how many green circuits it uses. Okay. So fifth five times three, fifteen. Uh there's no more green circuits in the entire build, actually. This is going to be easier to calculate than I thought. So we need 15 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Yikes. Uh, 15 times 3. Well, that's not 5 per second, but we'll get to that. Uh, 15 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3,645 green circuits per... Uh, per efficiency, or per module 6, and, uh, what was it? 1.4, 2.8 per minute, so times 2.8 divided by 60, we're looking at 170 green circuits per second, um, to keep this thing going full speed on average. Uh, we've got three train stations where we can drop off the green circuits. And we've got a single station here. It does take a moment. Okay, the fact that we don't have a train coming here right this second suggests that the trains can keep up. So that's not too bad. More faster, indeed. Uh, I mean, I could make another drop-off for shuttles, for, um, for green circuits, if it comes to that. Uh, 
Okay. Um, I've made kind of pyramid for my modules for first several tiers. <laughs> Last four tiers, I just made them one to one. Yeah, there's a lot. I I wanted my initial approach to this was actually to try and build a good ratio. But the number of machines that we would need for that was ludicrous, so I just ended up um, doing this auto-crafter thing. Come to think of it, it could probably use some better modules by now. Like the better modules that we're making right here. Um, so why don't, why don't we do that? Well, hang on. I didn't mean to put efficiency modules in here. Also, uh, unless we make these green chests, which might be a good idea, those modules aren't going to be available. The ones in the requested chests. So let's do that. Um, theoretically, this could mess up the trains coming to pick up some modules when some of them get yeeted away before the train gets here. But that's not going to come up very often, and it'll eventually solve itself, so let's not worry about it. That 3 to 1 is like epic for tier 9 modules, indeed. Who knows if we'll ever even make tier 9 modules, considering how slow they'll be, as in to make them. Um, so how fast is this? I, I, I'll probably go full speed here. Uh, plus 450%, plus 540%. Yeah, it's not like we have a lack of power in orbit. Let's, let's go maximum speed. For a lot of these recipes, we might already be bottlenecking on the bots, though. Or or the ins even the inserters, like, quickly taking out the product and putting it back in. Yeah, yeah no, it's this stack inserter that's putting in the modules. We're already bottlenecking on that. Well, for some of the inserters, we're bottlenecking on... Uh, for, for some of the uh, modules, we're bottlenecking on that. I think we will just go for this. That's fine. Alright, let's send our spiders back to the mall so we know they're resupplied whenever we need to use them. Okay. Um... So this is all set up. I would like to see it in motion so that I can tell uh, that the inserters can keep up with the output here. I don't suppose there just happens to be a train coming with um, holmium ingots anytime soon? Not this one, that's for sure. Now, they're all waiting on one more delivery of powder um, before we get... before we cross the line to triggering a train delivery. Why is Holmium powder not in motion? Uh-oh. Where's our Holmium? Oh, that's right. I need to go to... Um, is it Via Terra? Uh, I'm going to resupply first. And then I'm going to head over there personally, just because it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, we plucked our ship over here. I'll go to orbit first and resupply that as well. Um, but yeah, via Terra, we are... Uh, what? We need more spaceships. Okay, we're not bottlenecking on this just yet. Uh, where's our via Terra spaceships? I'm pretty surprised by that, considering... Uh-oh. Have we got power? We've got power. It should be... Oh, don't tell me. 
Oh, I think I made the same mistake as with Morpheus. Did we over overfill this with water? Is that all? Um... I don't think that's it. We've got steam. We've got 500 degrees heat. Well, the we, we've got uh, fuel, we're just not putting it in yet. Because the accumulator charge hasn't dropped. Where is this? Oh, it's at destination, waiting to anchor on Nalvis. So where's the other one? Via Terra... was this two? Oh, this one just... Hold on. If this if there's only two Via Terra ships and this one just landed on Via Terra. And Via Terra 1 is at destination. Waiting to go to Narvis. 2001 is the clamp ID. For Holmium. Four fragments. Uh, is this it? Yes, Holmanite. 2001, 2001, so why, why isn't it landing? Most of my modules built to Discord, nice. Uh, why isn't Via Terra 1 landing? We've got fuel... I mean, it doesn't need fuel to land, I don't think. Uh, target is Nalvis. We've got the anchor signal. Is this sending? Okay, neither of... Oh, wait, what? There's, there's like 16... Holmanite core fragments missing in this ship? How did it take off? I don't understand what happened here. Uh, let's say greater than 47,000. How did... This is the exact same design we're using with our space trucks everywhere. Um, I don't understand how we ended up with an almost full ship that was... that traveled to Nalvis orbit and then stopped there. I guess if this signal was sent just briefly, it would have headed to the planet and then it stopped sending the anchor signal. Hmm... If we add a constant combinator that always sends the anchor signals, that wouldn't have happened. Um, but I don't particularly want to patch all of my space trucks now. Like, I'll definitely do it for a future design. I'm very confused as to how this happened. There's a bot holding fragments? Yeah, that basically always happens. Um... We've got some buffer chests that resupply the outposts with bots, partly because of that. But yeah, oh, okay, so Via Terra 1, uh, 2 rather, is in motion. And it is in motion because and only because it has 48,000 Almanite core fragments here. Yeah, I really don't understand, uh, what's happened. Guess I'll just have to try and keep an eye on them more. We could also add some... I'm pretty sure two ships is overkill, but why don't we just add a couple more to be absolutely sure. Since we're about to increase the throughput, um, for Via Terra anyway. Uh, let's... Stamp down... Oh, what's this? Uh, I forgot I made another ship for Deadwood? I believe? Planet 132. Uh, 
Um, I believe that is Deadwood. Indeed. Alright, let's get you launched. Deadwood, we're up to five, I think, six. So this is Deadwood seven that we're about to launch. Um, Deadwood seven. And then just need to switch these on. We should already be fueled up ages ago. Off you go. Space truck. New one goes here. And this one's gonna be via Terra. Excess 5150. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll give that some time to fuel up. Should I put the outposter hovering around Nalvis Orbit instead of clamped? Just so we have more room to build ships. It's fine. Let's head back to orbit, and I'll just check this is not good, fantastic, now this orbit go, and what's next? Uh, good question. How are we doing for science? We've got everything except for material is still missing. Comprehensive catalogs, I imagine. Yeah. But we do have plenty of material insights, at least. We've got our universal simulations raring to go. Um, just need to find out why three of our four sciences are not making tier three. Uh, so let's look at Astro. We're missing gamma ray observation data and nothing else. Oh, actually we're missing a negative pressure as well, even though there's a little bit here. Negative pressure is missing astrometric, probably gamma is the same. Um, was it gamma? Gamma ray, yeah. It's one of these. That's microwave. Um, where did we put gamma? Is this it? Radio wave? Gamma ray. Gamma ray is missing gamma ray detectors. Huh. I thought we had that sorted forever. It's just a bit slower than it needs to be. No mirrors coming out, even though we've got them here. We're missing LDS. No, I don't think that's it. Or is it? Yeah, there's no... Did I... Surely we can't actually be out of LDS. Um, did I turn it to a shuttle and mess up the uh, delivery or something? Or maybe even worse. Uh, maybe I meant to make a shuttle and I didn't for LDS. Let's see. First, let's go to the point of production. Uh, somewhere here. We've got loads of LDS. Okay, we just have to fix the supply chain. Uh, rocket... Rocket what launches LDS is... It may have already... Oh, here it is. Are we still using this? 
Novus Orbit LDS, launch on cargo full, launch delayed, waiting for available empty landing pad. Okay. And that available empty landing pad would be... I think there's one up here, actually. Yeah, we're still using it. There's plenty of LDS here. What's going on? Provide stack threshold 168. Um, and we've got seven stacks times 24, it looks like. Oh, I need to move the calculator supposed to be up here. How did this happen again? Uh, calculator, you can go here. Fantastic. 24 times 7, 168. So this should be available for pickup. Do we have exactly 350 in each of these chests? We do. The wire is connected, the combinator is switched on, short and long trains are allowed to pick this up. Um... This thing is connected to the logistic train stop input. Oh. I th One, two, three, four, five. I was going to say I think I see the problem, but that's not actually a problem. Uh, that those rail signals weren't blocking the train from fitting or anything. This is really weird. Um, surely there's some little mistake I've made. That means we're not picking up these LDS. If we never picked up from here, I would expect to see more low density structures. Uh, 17k, that's... Um, 340 stacks, so that's a bit more than half of the cargo rocket, and then we've got like 350 times 24, but well, we know it's 7 times 24 stacks, um, 168 stacks here, maybe we did never pick up LDS from this spot, um, I don't know why that would be, We've got the wire connected to all of the chests. And... I, I, I just don't know. We're not lacking trains. If we were lacking trains, it would just be throughput in general. It wouldn't be one specific resource that we're struggling with. Hmm. Well, uh, you know what would also fix this? Something that I want to do at some point anyway, which is... Um... Have LDS and heat shields brought up by shuttles. So why don't we do that as well? Let's go for brick shuttle one, two, three, and four. I don't think we're going to get all of that built before the spider has to go back. I could be wrong. missing here. Integrity check. Nothing. Nice. Alright, let's get rid of all the 
uh, wire mess from the copper cables that we don't need. And check that this is all connected. It looks good to me. Uh, let's go for heat shield here. And low density structures uh, here. And they stack to the same size, so we'll only have to do the math once. Fantastic. What numbers should these be? Um, this one is 123, 122, 121. Oh, this is low density structures. 121. Fantastic. Um, so heat shield is 120. to start setting our filters and requests and everything. LDS goes here. And then heat shield. So we need 76,800 divided by 2, because that's the number that we... 76,800 is what we get if it's a stack size of 100. So heat shielding greater than or equal to 38,400. Same thing for LTS, that's when we take off. And then we need to request a... A uh, chest full of that here. I should probably copy paste that, but it's not like it's difficult to set up. Uh, LDS on this side. And this time I will just copy paste. Uh, we need to whitelist Heat Shield and LDS here. How much, though? Oh, good. We've got explosives already, so we know. That's the maximum um, that we're going to have that will fit in the storage chests. So if we go over that, we'll start having... I mean, I think the vanilla storage chest is going to accomplish that anyway, but... We'll have any excess LDS or heat shield delivered here. Um, and then... How much are we looking for? 32,000. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right. Um, this needs 38,400 just to launch. How can we be requesting 32,000? Uh... Oh, it's 32,000 in the storage chests. Still, I don't think that's right either. We can fit uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 train loads and change. Holmium solenoid is the same... 64,000. Okay. Same stack size, that is. Okay. 816. 
3264. Yeah. Uh, as for material testing packs, it looks like we're probably requesting enough of those. Um, so we'll go 64k. So this should say 128k. Uh, 64k LDS. LDS request a station. And go. We could probably request more than a train load at a time as well. Uh, heat shield. Fantastic. Trains should be coming relatively soon. I should probably summon the trains at the start when I'm setting all of these things up. Um, yeah, I think we're... Oh, I need to do the uh, orbital side of things as well. Uh, so we're going to take the one that uses... that's already got testing and explosives, which is here. Uh, 121, and 120, and then when LDS is empty, launch, when heat shield is empty, launch. And then, last but not least, we need to set up these uh, stations here. Actually, I think it's easier to make sure they're all done if I do it this way. And then LDS. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, 480 stacks is what? Three train loads? Yeah. I don't know why I had that stack size set to 480, but only summoning one track. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Uh, this is fine. Okay. I think we are ready. In fact, I think it might already all be set up correctly. It should already be in motion. Heat shield goes here. I am seeing trains coming. Fantastic. And LDS goes here. Nice. Now, in the meantime, uh, can we solve the mystery of why... Okay, there was definitely a train that came here to pick up LDS at some point, otherwise these inserters wouldn't be sticking out. Um, so I'm not I'm really not sure what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll defunct the... Uh, the cargo rocket sending up LDS and heat shield regardless. Let's see. Cargo rocket. We're just going to turn off the supplying station. And we'll wait till the last launch has happened. Uh, let it run its course. Before we empty it properly and get ready to deconstruct it. Um, I was going to go to Via Terra to increase the throughput of uh, Fulminite Core Fragments. But why do we not have rocket fuel here? What? Okay, there's actually a lot of liquid rocket fuel here. It's just... Okay, I'm surprised I don't have a pump there. That's... um. 
that's not very good. I do have a pump up here, but maybe that's not enough. Maybe we should even have fewer of these tanks, but no, we can't have pumps between them. They need to go both ways. Maybe I should have tanks somewhere like this. That might help a lot, actually. Hmm. Well, we're about half done refueling. It's mostly going to the left side. Yeah, I think I will, especially since I can do it so easily, just remotely, because the bots have access to pumps. Um, I might patch all of these. That's actually done already, it's only the two blocks. Okay. Um... What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go to Via Terra. We can still do that. Via Terra. Wait, what? Did I spell it wrong when I made the spaceships? I did. There's only one R. Alright, let's uh, correct that, shall we? Even though I like this spelling better. Via Terra number two. And there's actually a number three waiting to be launched right here. Via Terra three. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, you're all fueled up and ready to go. Let's switch these on. And it should auto launch. Beautiful. Um, I should already have a bunch of efficiencies and prods and stuff. Yeah, I think we're good to go. There should be lots of coal mining drills here as well. Alright, Via Terra. Let's go. Should just take uh, like 10 or 15 minutes to get there. Eleven, twelve minutes game time. Okay. Uh, what else are we doing? We're still not getting much of a flow of Holmium, but... Well, mostly because, for reasons I never could understand, uh, we had a ship that was waiting in Nalvis orbit with slightly less than the amount of core fragments it's supposed to have. I could... I shouldn't have to. I could build a latch system so that we send these signals until we get to our destination. Really shouldn't have to do that. Uh, this is sufficiently empty. That's not a... Oh, this is not. 24,990... And increasing? What? This pump isn't active, though. Is the water getting pumped from here to here going here first? That's pretty weird. Well, as long as it never actually stops being able to run the uh, condenser turbines once it gets to space. But yeah, we've got every every possible precaution in space to make sh uh, in place to make sure we don't overfill this, and yet, um, and yet, here we are. There's a little bit of room left here. Hmm. What's next? Oh, we should chase up, uh, science. 
That's right, wasn't it chasing up signs that showed us that LDS was missing? I think it was up here. Or maybe... Which build was it that was lacking LDS? We're also missing the astrometric... Uh, multispectral astrometric analysis that goes into everything because we're missing gamma ray observation data. Okay. Gamma... Gamma ray observation frame is missing... It was this build, wasn't it? Missing LDS. The uh, multi-spectral mirrors. Yep. Um, so that should all be working again. Uh, especially once we get our... I mean, specifically once we get our LDS delivered. It's gonna go here, and heat shield, it's gonna go here, fantastic, mirrors I think, indeed. Let's make sure our heat shield and LDS is being loaded, which it is, surprisingly quickly. We're almost launching our shuttles already. Nice. And uh, so that was Astro. That is probably fixed. Uh, what about comprehensive biological? We are lacking cryogenics and bioelectric data. Uh, cryogenics is looking for significant biomass, and bioelectric is probably the same. Yes. Significant biomass is... Not missing anything? Question mark? Oh, no. Uh, bio sludge output has blocked everything again. I've looked at this before, but... Um, I... I would have thought we would be net consuming biosludge and we have to produce it uh, over here. We do have circuitry to prevent, like this is where we produce biosludge. And we do have circuitry to prevent producing more if this is even a little bit full. And we send biosludge back here. We've also got a block specifically to make biosludge. We should have the same limitations on it. Or maybe we just have it as a low... Yeah, we have it as a low priority pickup. So... That should be sufficient... To make sure there's always somewhere to put biosludge. Uh, but it doesn't seem to work that way. I'm very tempted, in fact I think I will, I'm going to make a storage block just for bio sludge. Um, or maybe we could even hijack part of the research for it. Uh, I want to keep this block for research. Um... So I think we'll put that round about here somewhere. Uh, let's get the scaffolding spiders involved. And... Oh, I never fixed this, did I? It's fixed on one side, but not the other. There's not enough storage, effectively, for the recycled um, heavy bearings. I literally should probably just, like, add a chest here. I think I will do that. I'll have the construction spiders visit there on the way. We need the scaffolding spiders there first, anyway. 
All right, so let's put a new block here. And those should actually be chain signals now. Not that it matters that much. I should probably update this blueprint a little bit. Send you to the middle. There's our LDS. And there should be a train coming just as soon as there's uh, 160 stacks. Do you consider the UPS to be a problem which you'll try to fix at some point? Or is it just something that's a byproduct of such a huge factory? A bit of both. Um, since we've got bigger beacons and modules... I do want to reduce the count of uh, machines, especially on Nalvis. Like, this block right here was designed for high-tier modules. Um, we've actually got just two beacons covering everything um, that we make with oil products. Uh, well, covering all of the oil products, I should say. Um... And it not only gives us better productivity bonuses, but it, it's also faster when we upgrade. Um, so, like, one or two or three of these blocks is going to do more than... I haven't done the exact math. Uh, I think this is a little faster because we've got the tier 6 modules except for productivity than what we're going to be doing. But we're looking at, uh, let's see, 300 liquid rocket fuel and sulfuric acid per second at peak, uh, 155 lubricant. It's going to be two belts of plastic, actually. Oh, I think that might have been when I accidentally used tier 9s to design it. Um, but 74 per second isn't bad, 14 explosives per second... Uh, up to 6.2 rocket fuel per second, 31 sulfur, um, oh, and that's, no, it's maximum 31 sulfur per second, it's a bit slower than the other sulfur builds, uh, but it's still just barely net positive, even if we're doing sulfuric acid, um, so compare that to, say, one of the old blocks here, which uses more machines. Uh, quite a lot of sulfuric acid. We don't need it to go that fast. It's going to bottleneck on input at some point. Only 100 lubricant per second, 50 plastic bar, 10 solid rocket fuel. More sulfur, but we don't really need it. it it'll bottleneck on petroleum anyway. Uh, what? Oh, the spiders are currently putting down rail signals, that's why we're getting a bit of a lurch right now. Luckily, it doesn't really matter when we're looking at rate calculator. Um, but yeah, we, we can do more with fewer machines, which means we can get rid of like these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 oil blocks we've got now, and bring it down to maybe, I don't know, 3 to 5. I see. I wonder how much of the UPS drop is just the train network and complicated roundabouts and such, which seems to be very difficult to remove, if not impossible. Um, I've seen, like, one person say roundabouts are a problem, but I haven't seen evidence for that. Trains is currently just three to four, um, if we look at our update. Uh... Game update, circuit network is actually 6.8. Uh, entity update, 13, 13.5. It's, it's not that big a deal, the way the rail network is laid out. The electric network is actually double um, what the trains use. Uh, 
Um, so where are we? Seven minutes out from Via Terra. This is taking longer than I thought it would, but we're getting there. I guess... I would say I'm overdue to make a uh, personal ship that uses ion engines, but I'll wait until we get our uh, tier 3 uh, material science in flow, which is going to involve upgrading to all of this stuff. Um, once we get our tier 3 science material science going with the universal simulation, there's a bunch of spaceship upgrades we can get. We're going to get another, I think it's 300 uh, spaceship integrity. Our current maximum is 500. So we're going to be able to build significantly bigger ships uh, once we get that. That's interesting. I've heard that roundabouts and four-way intersections are very bad, and I've been avoiding doing grid-based design because of that. Nice to see that it's not that bad. I guess LTN helps a lot with that. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, I need the scaffolding spiders, actually, to come down here. Uh, Badokiza, by the way, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Captain True, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. Hi, how many new oil city blocks do you need to replace the old? Uh, I don't know. Um, but I would estimate three to five. Uh, especially if we end up getting, uh, tier nine modules, which are just ludicrously expensive. Um, we can reduce that number a little bit more. Okay, so this block's going to be very simple. Um, I just want... Uh, what am I doing? Storage tank. First I'll need some stations. Uh, wait, let's get that from the blueprints. Drop off stations and uh, pick up stations. I'm just sick of deleting bio sludge, so what we're gonna do uh, for the moment is just make a storage area for it. And if we want to do the same for another fluid, it's gonna be easy to copy paste. So I'm just gonna cram as many uh, storage tanks as I can into this area, and we're going to have um, pick up down here. We'll have to use the encoded network ID signals to say that LTN, please do not pick up fluid from here to deliver up here. But other than that, this is going to be very straightforward. And uh, so this is going to be bio sludge provider. Very, very low priority to pick up. Let's say like negative one million. I want to be absolutely sure this is the last place the trains come to pick this stuff up. And we're going to uh, pretty much the same thing here, but for a pickup. Um, uh, let's say 180,000. Am I going to make it an extremely low priority uh, drop off as well? So 
So it's just so that the fluid has somewhere to go. And then all that's left to do is figure out how we connect all of these tanks. I think I would like this part to line up, so... And I don't want it encroaching on where the station is, so maybe like this. That's perfect. I don't suppose those are going to just happen to line up. Let's snap to grid relative, and... Oh wow, that's perfect. I was not expecting that, that's very cool. Uh, let's do some space underground pipe, actually. Uh, I need a pump, though, so that this part will be one way. Uh, that's unfortunate. We won't need any power pole in the middle. Um, if I do it like this, put a pump here. Let's do the same thing on this side. Flip these around. And go. Oh, now the pump is facing the wrong way, though. Oh. Let's do the same thing over here. I think we have to flip it, though. Fantastic. Uh, is that going to line up? Where's our little blueprint that we just made? It does not. Hmm. That is... Uh, a little disappointing. I guess we could just do this one uh, a little bit different. We'll live. Alright, so in that case... Um, that is a ludicrous amount of storage. I'm not even going to fill the whole thing. Well, I hope we won't be needing it. Looks kind of weird. Oh, wait. These aren't actually connected to each other across the side. Okay. Let's try that again. Snap to grid relative. Um, maybe about this many. doesn't look right. Alright, try again. Let's start from scratch here. We'll do the 2x2 two two snap to grid relative and can't go wrong that way. I've been watching for an hour, just looked up and see all these tanks. Are you making an orbital fueling station? Um, I'm just making a storage area for Bio's Lodge. Because, okay, a couple of reasons. We keep getting blocks that are stopped because the Bio Sludge output is full. Despite my best efforts to limit the supply based on... Uh, based on how much we already have, the production of it, because certain recipes spit it out as a side product. Or maybe they spit out contaminated bio sludge, which is effectively the same thing. Um, 
I don't know if there's like something I'm overlooking in trying to limit the production of bio sludge, or if there just isn't enough storage, like for a place for it to go from all of these blocks that produce it incidentally. Um, so making this giant storage, I'm not going to have to keep deleting bio sludge, which I think is a terrible waste. Um, and also, so this will either solve the problem, or I'll be able to see a gradual buildup of bio sludge that tells me, okay, we are net producing bio sludge, even though we're not meaning to. Where are we going wrong? Why not use rocket fuel tanks? Uh, because the liquid rocket fuel tanks only allow you to put liquid rocket fuel in them. It holds liquid rocket fuel. Uh, it's very specific, somehow. Alright, so that is bio sludge provider, bio sludge requester. We're going to set the requester station to... Uh, encoded network ID 1, I think. And we'll set this one to encoded network ID 2. The default, if you do not include this, uh, is basically that it will interact with every station. So any other station can interact with this, any other station can interact with this. Uh, but if they have different binary values, if they have binary values with no overlap, so 1 and 2 is a good example of that, um, these two stations won't interact with each other. Uh, I think all that's left is to switch it on. Once I name the station here. Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, so that is a pretty ludicrous amount of storage, and we can easily add to it. Um, hopefully that's going to solve the bio-sludge storage issue. I'm just going to put some symbols here to show what this is for. And uh, while the scaffolding spiders are here, they may as well build out another block. I guess. Or maybe two. Are we at Via Terra yet? Almost. We are creeping towards it. Just heading out there to uh, add some more coal mining drills. We'll need some more belts and stuff. Get rid of the old cannons. Well, I can do that remotely, I guess. Why are we still... Oh, no. I think we're just now reaching the end. Yeah, I just witnessed it. Wait, the cannons are still firing. Oh, it's literally just... Oh, no. I think I figured it out. Okay, okay. I probably checked this button out of habit. Do not request... Four fragments from buffer chests. I put this here because we had a few random core fragments in the logistic network and I wanted to get them recycled. Um, actually, we don't need that at all. The logistic network is sending it to the spaceship. Yeah, this was from a while ago. I completely forgot about it. So that's how we ended up... <laughs> oh, indeed. Is Mike, thank you. Uh, and if I didn't say already, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, that's how we ended with ended up with like 16 missing Holmanite core fragments after the ship took off, uh, which I believe it is currently trying to do, but it doesn't have enough fuel yet. Um, so it seems like. Oh. We're actually not consuming 
the petroleum fast enough. Uh, yeah, I've only got, uh, what? Okay, can we prioritize? Hmm. Could I somehow prioritize the consumption of the solid fuel that comes from petroleum? For making this, the, wait. No, that... I don't know if that's even a problem, because we're backed up on solid rocket fuel. Um, so we actually just need more machines making... Hmm. What's our rate here? We are very slightly positive on solid rocket fuel. Negative on petroleum. Negative on light. Um, negative on heavy. Uh, I guess we're just way too positive on solid rocket fuel. We need to make more machines that make liquid rocket fuel with this build. Hold on, we've got loads of liquid rocket fuel. Okay, I think it was literally just a matter of how quickly can we pump it into the spaceship. Um, maybe I should have... We're not gonna... Hmm, are we gonna bottleneck on that or not? We've got Via Terra 3 coming in now. And... I should land. Inca to Via Terra, let's go to the beach. Fantastic. Uh, that reminds me as well, though. I wanted to make one more ship for Via Terra to make absolutely sure we're probably not bottlenecking on the spaceships. Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Biosludge overflow is fine if you are not researching green space sides. Uh, yeah, except it stops things from moving um, in various places. Uh, so here is our biosludge. Here is our very low priority uh, pickup. That's currently just getting fumes of biosludge. But that's not surprising, considering the shape of this uh, storage area. Um, but yeah, that should actually get... Which one was it? We've got a train coming to pick up the bio sludge for... Um, significant biomass. And... It was actually just biomass output that was the problem here right now. We're not lacking any inputs whatsoever. And I think we set it up... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We set it up so that we're swapping experimental biomass back and forth. So we don't need a train to come pick that up. Kinako Kusia. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And away it goes. And bioscience is in motion again. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, next is energy science. So energy catalog 3 is lacking superconductivity data. I don't remember that one being difficult. Superconductivity data... Uh, that's not good. This is one of the first blocks we made which outputs cold thermofluid um, to the rail network. We did... Okay, there's plenty of storage space left here for cold thermofluid. What's going on? 
How much is this? Uh, if it's 8.1k times 8... 64,800 in these eight storage tanks. We're requesting 180,000. And our th request threshold is 100k. So we should be able to have a train drop cold thermo fluid off here. Right? If anything, I've not trusted LTN in the past to not overfill things. Um, although that might actually come down to keeping the chests perfectly balanced. 180k. Well, let's round it up. Let's say it's 8,200 times 8. That's still 65,600. There's room for like 115,000. Uh, cold thermo fluid here, and our request threshold is 100k. I probably should have separated these. It's not too late to do that. Um, I, I should have like separated these from these eight uh, storage tanks from the rest of the storage with a pump. But I'm sure that. We've got about the same at all of these other ones. Yeah, it's actually... This one's empty. Okay, so why... If that cold thermofluid storage is completely empty, why are we not picking up cold... I don't understand. Cold thermofluid, negative 10 degrees. Cold thermofluid, negative 10 degrees, 180k. Encoded network ID 2. No encoded network ID here, which means... Oh. I think I see the problem. Uh, regular provide threshold, 100,000. Fantastic. That should fix it. So I've got my... Oh, that was quick. I've got my default set for provide stack threshold and provide threshold. Oh, wait. It's not even there. Um, it's just the provide threshold. Mod settings, LTN... I've got my defaults for request and provides threshold set so high that they effectively don't exist. So that I have to manually configure these things. Uh, and somehow I just removed or forgot that one signal. That's fine. Um, is there any other negative, 100, uh, negative 10 thermo fluid that I've made that might have the same problem, I wonder? I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later if it is broken. Uh, so that might be it to get energy signs flowing again. And there goes the data. We're actually only 300 away from a train picking this up automatically. And that'll be another 8,000 comprehensive energy catalogs. Fantastic. Um, cool. So theoretically, we've done everything we need to to start getting our first universal simulations going. Let's do a little something to increase our flow of Holmanite. Not that it... I'm not entirely convinced it's necessary. It might just be the case that we... Um, uh, because Holmanite stopped for a bit because of that little bug. Uh, 
it might be the case that we've already got enough throughput for Holmanite. But it certainly doesn't hurt to add a little bit more ahead of time. If that's the case. And I haven't really figured out exactly where I'm going to put... Uh, we can stop this thing. Well, no, we can't. Um, we need iron and copper, sulfuric acid barrels. Uh, we don't need explosives anymore, I don't think. We will be needing uranium. Uh, don't need heat shield LDS. Do need stone brick, because we need green circuits, because we need, uh, media defense installations. And we do need steel. So I th think that's right now. I'll leave the rest of that as is, except we're not making any more cannons. Uh, cannon shells. Yay, indeed. Alright, let's... Uh, should I leave the cargo? It's already fueled up, I'll just leave this here. Then again... Am I ever going to use it? It doesn't hurt to just leave it sitting idle, I'm sure. Let's get rid of these old belts. And... I could put lots of coal miners down here. Um, although maybe that's in the way of where I might end up doubling this at some point. I'm sure we can fit them um, up here somewhere. Oh, accumulator charge. I broke the signal. Um, let's just put another accumulator here. And once that charges up, the miners will do their thing again. Okay, so I think we're already at like a full belt for each of these. Yeah, we are. So we actually kind of need... We actually kind of need more belts. Uh, like so. Where am I going to put these things? This is kind of an awkward position. And sort of the nice thing about putting this down uh, we were getting a little bit more than a belt for each four of these. But now it's going to slow down the individual machines so this is actually not going to be bottlenecked on a belt. Alright, we'll do the same thing. Can't really squeeze it in here. I might just have to put it up here and bring the belt down. Maybe like this? That's pretty good. Don't forget the corner. And don't forget the accumulator. Whoa, 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 look at that. Look at that spider leg go. Oh my god. That, that looks uncomfortable. I would not, I would not sit that way myself. Uh, which spider is this? Via Terra, here we go. You guys can go up this way now. Alright, so we actually just doubled our drills. I probably should have double-checked our power first, but yeah, we've actually got way more than enough um, 
with this nuclear plant. Big spider leg stretch, indeed. Uh, so once that accumulator charges, these drills will do their thing. What are we at now? 138 core fragments per second. That's a, just slightly more than three belts. Um, and I just doubled our storage for core fragments, so I could just remove this. Yeah, I'm just going to remove these uh, storage chests, and then the bots... The, the storage for the core fragments is still going to be nice and close to the... Uh, what? Oh. Um, I appear to have forgotten to update this signal. in my blueprint. Uh, so this was number three. I don't think... did we launch number four yet? I don't think so. I think this was going to be via Terra 4. Let's just check there isn't a default named spaceship somewhere. Um, Wyvern and Widget. Why are there two? Oh, those are our shuttles. For what? Um, solenoid. Okay. I just want, want to double check. Uh, solenoid. Okay, there's nothing else in the game called solenoid. So just like with uh, Reagent, I'm just going to call this the solenoid shuttle. And solenoid shuttle 2. I may have forgotten to name... I don't think I forgot to name the... Um, Heat shield and LDS shuttles. I did. Okay. LDS shuttle what? LDS shuttle two. And where are our This one's called Wyvern. Wait. I need to go to another surface in order to make that snap to where it actually is. Uh, so this one is Bearing Shuttle. I'll make this one number one. Uh, I don't know where the other one is right now. Did I make another one? We're going to have to find out. Ricardo. Uh... Four coal fragments. 132. Why is this constant combinator switched off? How... How did you get here if this is switched off? Where are you even? Now this orbit at destination. And you're carrying nothing. And you're full of bots. What? What? Um, something is wrong here. Are your clamp numbers still 2002? I think that's um, set correctly for all core fragments, which I forgot to add a symbol for here. Core fragment uh, call. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, that is 2002. I'm surprised how many ships I've forgotten to name. Uh, let's sort by name. Spaceship. Okay, so far so good. Eagle is delivering heat shield. Heat shield. I haven't named one of those yet. There may have only been one. I don't think so. Heat shield shuttle one. That's heat shielding, but that's close enough. Um, what else have we got? Ricardo. 
Oh, that's the one that I was just confused about. Um, so you are... You've got no fuel. And no ion stream. I... Hmm... I don't want to switch this on just yet. Core fragment equals zero. Go to this place. I think I want to swap that around for the moment. Go to Nalvis. Wait, I thought you were at Nalvis. Destination 10 seconds. Okay. Love the way Tyrannosaurus X has, oh no, that's not good, every five minutes, then fixes up another snarl up. Indeed. There's only, you can only be so careful trying to avoid mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. This is 48k. Uh, switch this back on. We should have some circuitry denying launch until we're refueled. All right, that should sort itself out. Uh, and you are Deadwood, I don't know what number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is eight. Okay. Deadwood eight. Who's next? Oh, we have a lot of spaceships now. Uh, I'm seeing... Wait, this should be... I can't get it... Uh, I'm gonna filter out everything else. And then sort by name. Okay. Just looking for anything with a default name. Outposter is not a default name. Uh, did we do it? We've got Weaver. I thought we hadn't done the other heat shield. Heat shield shuttle two. Fantastic. Uh, sort by name. I think that might be everything. Okay, cool. So you are waiting where? At Nalbus Orbit. You've got your clamp signals. 120. 120. What? Why is it not... Huh? Eat, shielding, shut. They're both in Nalvis orbit, waiting to land. They're both transmitting anchor using le uh, spaceship right to target left. Oh, I didn't set this one. Well, there's your problem. Fantastic. Let's just copy-paste that, and we'll go to our other shuttle. Eat. Shielding 2. Copy-paste the settings. And there we go. Right then. Um... Where are we going next? Oh, I wanted to check the rate for... That's right, it was uh, slightly less than... Th slightly more than three belts. For the Pulmonite core fragments. It's quite a lot, actually. Um, I don't really think we need to go for more. At this point. The more drills we use, the more uranium we're paying to get a less and less amount of um, 
Pulmonite. So we may as well stop. Like, I think this will be enough to saturate everything for a good long time. So let's head back to Nalvis Orbit. Wait, that's... Okay, that's not my spider. Good. And... What are we missing here? Okay, that part I know. But what... Oh. Oh, the scaffolding spiders have run out of... Do they even carry islands? I don't think so. Alright, let's send our construction spiders. And... Let's check on some of those sciences that we thought we fixed. Energy 3 is in motion. Uh, Bio 3 is still waiting on the same two things. But those two things were just waiting for significant biomass, which has been in motion. So I think it's working. Just waiting on significant biomass. And I think I just saw this one in motion. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. Uh, so that's energy, bio, and I think we already fixed, um, Astro. Astro 3, we're looking for negative pressure data, which is looking for astrometric data, which is looking for the UV thing. Was it UV? Gamma ray that we already fixed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, gamma ray observation frames... Are waiting for gamma ray detectors, which are waiting for ultimately LDS, which should all be in motion now. I see LDS here. Wait. Oh no. I think we figured out why. Was this here before? That would explain why the train wasn't picking up the LDS. Hmm. Yeah, I think we actually kind of need to merge and split these uh, LDS because they're not gonna they're not gonna be picked out of the chests evenly. Okay, let's just do that. Um, I'll let the spiders reach their destination and place those two items first. And place another block here for later. And then. Oh, and how's this going? We did get rid of our cold thermo for it. Beautiful. And speaking of which, away it goes. I want to make doubly sure that, yeah, we're not producing more cold thermo fluid here at the moment. So as long as there's just a little bit of this in storage, um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna produce more. Although I. Sh I could probably set this even lower, to be honest. I think I should. Let's make it like 2,000? Or even 1,000? That would be like approximately 32k cold thermo fluid, but that's just in the storage area that gets pumped to the actual pickup. I think I should do the same thing for negative 100 as well. Especially considering the way I've got the um, the drop-offs for those fluids here. I'm just reading from this, which is connected to all of this. Since we're not pumping this to here, 
Amazed at the scale you're building, trying for point 0.4 of each catalogue that then is split between significant card, prod, and the science packs, and struggling with input-output flow, your scale is huge in comparison. Uh, thank you, Morten. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, so let's get... Uh, let's get our scaffolding spiders to do their thing and go home. Construction spiders, I need you to visit our block for... What are they called? Multispectral mirrors. And we're just going to... Um, how are we going to do this? What would be the best spot? Maybe something like this? I literally just need one splitter since it's two to two. And then that can continue down here. This goes back this way. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, maybe like this. Wait, no, that's not going to work. Let's just bring this down one more tile. Oh, wait. Alright, keep trying. We'll get there eventually. And there we go. Maybe I could have brought this back. This I think that would look more tacky. Alright. Once the spiders get here, that'll be our LDS input fixed. I still haven't gotten around to building more machines here. Like, actually changing the layout um, for the gamma ray detectors. We can get 12.8 per second, which is almost enough to keep up with this block at full speed. It's fine for now. I'm going to procrastinate it just a little bit longer. Alright, so that's our LDS in motion again which should bring some to this machine. And these other ones are only stopped because we're doing a balanced output of scrap. Or it actually is just vanilla scrap. Uh, we're doing a balanced output of scrap directly into the train station here. Cool. Um, so that, I keep saying this, but that should, asterisk, uh, be everything in place to eventually get our universal simulation. Um, now that we've got the supercomputers, actually, I think the spiders should already be carrying some. Uh, can we get some tier 4 extended astronomical insight energy? We don't have material yet. I think we need to research that. Um, is it Material Catalog 4? Yeah, so we need Material Science Pack 3, which we could have had by now, but instead of uh, doing this dodgy little expansion uh, like we've done with the other sciences, I wanted to get this whole thing going. So Material is going to be the last one that we can upgrade, but I think the other three... Uh, astronomic, bio, and energy. We can actually, once we put supercomputers here, um, we can actually upgrade these to use the next tier of, uh, what's it called? 
of insight production, which is going to consume these blank data cards, but we're going to get much better value. And we probably already have enough uh, supercomputers to upgrade all of these, actually. I just can't set the recipes on the material one yet. The spiders might not be carrying enough to upgrade all of them at once. Also, can I put one of these down so I can set the recipe without throwing this stuff out? Uh, Zithir Zithrius? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're looking for Bio 4. Fantastic. Wait, what is it saying? Plus 3. Uh-oh. Did we just drop a bunch of stuff? No? What was it saying? Plus 3 something or other. Plus 3 astronomic catalogue, plus 3 broad astronomic. Oh, I think it just means it's, like, putting those into the next recipe, which was what I wanted. Let's move the spiders. I definitely, if they're not carrying enough to finish this in one go, I definitely want them to um, fill out the energy one first. Alright, and tier 4, extended biological insight. Go. Didn't miss any, did we? Fantastic. Delete that for now. Oh, wait, no. I mean, I will in a second, but let's use it to set the energy recipe. And inch our spiders forward a little bit. Perfect. Alright, so if they are carrying enough computers to do all of those, they should already be in motion. I think we're like, literally four short. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's pick up this bot. Oh wait, we're fine. Nice. Very nice. Alright, may as well put the spiders over here then. Uh, that's already marked for deconstruction. And... Uh, looks like we can carry... I guess I shouldn't have been surprised if I did the math, but we're carrying at least 128. 129 uh, quantum supercomputers with the spiders at all times. Alright, let's send them back to the mall. And... Oh, wrong button. I just want to make absolutely sure all of these have the recipe updated. If we can see they've picked up blank data cards, then that is definitely correct. Uh, material we can't upgrade yet. Fantastic. Uh, so we're going to need... Oh, I may have forgotten. Um, <laughs> I may have forgotten we haven't actually done extended catalogs yet, and that we need those for the tier 4 recipes. Uh, whoopsie. So we haven't done tier 4 bio, tier 4 astro. Uh, we definitely haven't done... Oh, we, we were working on tier 3 mechanical. We've done that, but we need stuff. Uh, what was the other one? 
feel like I'm blanking on it. Uh, astronomic. That's tier one and two. Yeah. Oh, it was energy, wasn't it? Energy four. We don't have yet. Okay. We can set these recipes already. Have I already set the stations up? I have. At least this one. Uh, what about Astro 4? We've already got the rest uh, recipe set up. And the station. Station I haven't bothered setting up yet. Um, I'm not too concerned about it right now. I four. Nice. Haven't set that station up yet either. Um. So in that case, I need to change those recipes back. Well, it's nice to know that we can set them anyway. Uh, blue. Unfortunately, this is going to spit out a whole bunch of blank data cards onto the ground. Uh, but what are you going to do? Uh, bio 3. Where did it go? Well, that was a good waste of time. Uh, and energy 3. Energy 3. not a whole lot of blank data cards. We'll pick those up. Actually, I'll send the scaffolding spiders to pick those up. And that way we can keep using the construction spiders. Alright, so what's next? Uh, we're actually just waiting for insights, but I don't think we've taken the step to using the significant data yet. So I think we'll do that maybe in this block. Uh, wait, what? We need Vitamelange core fragments for Bioscience Pack 4. I was not expecting that. Astro Science Pack 4 needs Aeroframe Bulkheads. Uh, energy for Quantum Processors. So that's probably the only one where we need Core Fragments. And Bearings. Okay. So I think I basically want to do a block much like this one, but we're not going to be producing the insight or uh, significant uh, the simulations on site. So we need for bio we need uh, catalogs one, two, and three. I think I'd like to design it for tier four. Actually, we can do that now, except for material. But I think the layout's going to be very very similar for these. So why don't we design, um, should I just tear up this old one? We're going to need the thermofluid, right? I don't think we're going to need cold thermofluid at all. In fact, I should have a train move this. Um... Just gonna set 
this as a provider. And provide threshold one, high priority. Get that fluid recycled. I could maybe do the same thing for the thermofluid. I mean the negative 273 degree. What? There we go. And I think I'll pick up all of this stuff. A lot of it's going to stay in the same place, like the 25 degree thermofluid output. I'm not overly concerned about picking up a bit of that fluid. So we're going to need four types of catalog dropped off. And we're going to need significant data. Uh, biological insight. That's going to be universal across all four recipes. That we need catalog, significant data, and insight. And then we need one more product for each tier. Um, once the fluid's gone... I'll just have the spiders pick everything up, and it'll all get recycled. Um, I don't know how comfortable I am having the science go back to the mall. Let's, uh... Let's change the... threshold. So that the trains come and pick up the last of this science. Same goes... Actually, there's going to be junk data cards in the final build, so we can leave those there. Are there going to be blank data cards coming out? I don't think so. So we can pick this up. Yeah, it's literally just going to be these four machines. And everything else is just going to be trains bringing stuff in. And taking out the uh, junk data cards, 25 degree thermofluid. Okay. We'll probably... How am I going to lay this out? We have a different insight going to each machine. We still have a train coming here. What the hell? It's already empty. What is this train looking for? Three cold thermo fluid? Okay. Are you going to get it? Apparently. Alright. Let's uh, remove this for now. We might end up keeping some of these, but I don't know. Uh, that can actually get deleted now. In fact, let's just go ahead and pick up all of this. Okay. Ideally, I'd like these things to direct insert to each other. Put that back in the middle. The spiders are already too full. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up all of this as well. 
if only to save confusion. I'll wait till the super cool domo fluid gets picked up, I think. Alright, finally removing all of this clutter. I don't think we'll need, uh... I mean, we could, to keep it simple. We, we could have, like, one train station that outputs all of the different sciences. Actually, if we're using a short train for that, which should be way more than enough, uh, we can have a very, very simple output. Um... Then again, if we're building for, like, end game scaling, why not do a long train? Then again, then again, we're never going to produce science that fast. Okay. I might send the construction spiders uh, back home so that they can empty their inventory. We'll let them pick up whatever they can first. Oh, which is apparently a lot. them all with you. And I'm sure there's going to be a trail of bots following you as well. Um, I think there's going to be an overabundance of space in this block, but like, we're going to need a certain amount of items dropped off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 physical items dropped off different types, that is. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is four different types of catalog, plus two for significant data and biological insight, and then plus four for the uh, unique item that goes... Oh! Tier 4 has even more stuff. Vitalic Epoxy plus Core Fragment. Well, those can probably share a belt. Those can probably share a belt. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, most of the space in this block is going to be... different train stops. Uh... It's going to look pretty empty in terms of actual machines, of course. Since we're literally only going to have four of them. And the only question is how we're going to lay out our inputs. So if it's ten physical inputs, um, we can easily do two, four, six, eight... 9, 10. I think that'll be fine. Uh, maybe... Is this too greedy? Maybe I could even do two types of science in one block. Well, this is going to be near all the bio stuff, and we can do... Yeah. The location does matter a little bit. Okay. So, let's say, let's say we put this in the middle, we can do output fluids in there, I don't think that's necessarily going to look that good, but I would like, um, 
I would like to be able to direct insert um, the tier 1 signs into tier 2 and so on. So something like this. Bio 1. Oh, uh, I think we're definitely going to offset this a bit because I want a belt going down the middle. I'll have to check what the rate is going to be. Well, I really don't know what the rate is going to be, but I think negative one third of one, uh, neg one third of one per second for these two per machine before we give it speed buffs. I think we can just have one belt sharing those two. Um, so something like this. What the? Oh, I see it. That can be for uh, insight and significant data. I think I'll put those inputs um, something like here. Just sketching out where that's going to go first. We still haven't picked up this uh, thermofluid, which I guess isn't surprising because we don't recycle it back into what is going on here. Oh, that's 20... F no, it isn't. What? Huh? Uh, what happened here? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be negative 273 degree thermofluid. How did we get 25 degree thermofluid in here? And this is cold thermofluid? What? There's negative 273 here, 25 here, and negative 100 here in the pumps. What? How? Uh. Well, that's just wrong. Apparently, we're lacking cold thermofluid. What? What's what's happening in this block? There's no cryonite. Oh, wait, what? Uh, why is there no cryonite? Also, this should be connected. Don't tell me we've got the same... This one's fine. And this one's fine. I wonder what happened. Let's make sure we copy everything from that block. A Sigma Bean. Tyler Tox, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we have cryonite, or did we, like, break it and never fix it? It looks like we have cryonite. Which makes it even more confusing as to why it wasn't being dropped off here. Maybe the combinator switched off for reasons that I don't remember. I'm also still very, very confused as to how those two different liquids, two liquids that weren't supposed to be here, got into uh, this one. But yeah, all I was saying is there actually isn't um, a place that we recycle negative 273 degree thermofluid back to. Uh, where are our spiders? Still waiting on their bots to come back. 
once they are sorted out, and I might have to do... I'll do it ahead of time, actually. I'll set them to be emptied. Remove everything trash unrequested. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to get over full before things get sorted out. I'll send them back to nice and close to the storage. This train is looking for blank data cards, which I haven't programmed into this thing yet. There we go. So that constant there is just necessary so that it knows when these chests are full. Uh, because of different stack sizes. Alright, so I want... Um, I want insight and significant data on this belt. That leaves... One type of catalog and I was going to say one type of other resource uh, for all of the other machines, but Bio 4 actually also wants uh, Vitamelange core fragments. I can literally just add a spaceship. Uh, I'll have to. I'll have to create a drop-off in the orbital base, um, but I can just add a spaceship t uh, that goes to Via Terra. No, not Via Terra. Uh, Rose. And back. Why is this not flowing? What? How are there no logistic bots here? How... Did you steal all the logistic bots? Okay, we've got some here. I just need to put... Uh, I just need to put a system to get them into the network. I'm actually... It's not surprising to me that, like, the, uh, the spaceships kidnap bots by accident, but I'm amazed that it could get down to zero on this planet. That's actually kind of, for lack of a better word, impressive. Uh, available logistic bots as logistic bot, available construction bots as construction bot, and we're going to set filters blacklist. So we're only going to put bots in when we need them. And then one stack of each. Request from buffer chests. I just realized we don't have the first logistic bot to make that happen. So if I don't fly over there myself, we're going to have to get creative. Damn bot nappers, indeed. So all of our bots are in this chest. Um, there's a couple of ways I can go about this. I need to... I don't think I can use picket dollies this way. How about... I, I don't want to remove the wall. I could, but it would be a pain to get it back. I'm going to get rid of this solar panel for a second. I'm going to put a roboport here. And I'm going to move this chest with picket dollies. Until we have a single logistic bot in the network. And then I'm going to put everything back. Do you do not have a ship earlier full of hovering logistic bots? Yeah, I actually keep a stack of them. Or just, just under a stack. So that we don't overfill it. <laughs> Thank you, fat boy, not so slim. Uh, I keep a stack of them in every... Uh, uh, every space truck, just so that we can keep the outposts uh, supplied. 
Pax, indeed. Simon says, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's our Vitamolange core fragments flowing again. Um, as I was saying, I'll just need to add, a, like, one more spaceship to take Vitamolange core fragments, and we're going to create a drop-off in Nalvis orbit for those, rather than bringing them up from Nalvis, which would be a terrible waste of rocket fuel. So that's actually going to be pretty easy to deal with. Um, can we get the spiders back in place yet? I think so. Uh, let's just put them here so that so that I can see them. We're going to set you to Space Constructortron. And as soon as you stop moving... Alright, this one... Space Constructotron, copy-paste to all the others. And then I'm going to move them back closer to all of our storage. So that we get fewer bots dying. Once that's done, I'm bringing them back down to this build. Uh, oh, we've got our... We've got our fluid going somewhere. That's good. Now we can get rid of this. And then... That should be a chain signal. 